Good Monday morning, Wilbur GCEC. We are coming at you from Mr. Sears' office. It's Mr. Sears and Mr. Warner. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, and please remain standing for the Woodbridge GCEC School Pledge. I am somebody, I will succeed. In school and life, I will achieve. Let's join together to work and share. Let's show the world we care. At Woodbridge ECEC, we are a team. At Woodbridge ECEC, we will reach our dream. You may be seated. All right, we are so excited because we've been talking about words of the week and it's finally here. We had our book bling assembly. Look at my book bling necklace. Yeah, it's nice, right? All right, we talked about home reading. We'll talk about that more in a minute, but we have these three lovely ladies here joining us for the announcements. So we're here first with um, Callie from Miss Bennett's room and Callie's word is rushes. Rushes means hurries. An ambulance rushes to the hospital in an emergency, right? Those ambulances are going really fast to get us to the hospital safely, mm -hmm. right? So they have to rush, but they still do it safely. You know, uh, Mr. Warner here, he helps drive an ambulance sometimes. Yeah. Drive in the yeah. yeah. Isn't that cool? So when he's in there, he makes sure he rushes the patients to the hospital. All so right. Then we have Alexandra from Miss Rinkenberg's room. Alexandra, you want to say, share your word with us? What's your word? Background, Background knowledge. And what does that mean? Okay, it says background knowledge is the things you already know, right? And then what's the sentence after it? We can help you with it. You, you can use your background knowledge to help you understand stories better, right? So you can use your background knowledge to help you understand stories better, right? So we always use our background knowledge when we're reading. Our teachers talk about that a lot, I'm sure. And last but certainly not least, we have Chloe and see, boys and girls, the worlds are going to get a little bit easier as we go because the further we get in the year, the more we're going to learn how to read, right? So Chloe's coming at us from second grade. So Chloe, you can go ahead and read us your word. Commitment. And your sentence is? That's right. We have to make sure we make the commitment to follow our class rules. Great job, ladies. Excellent. Very nice. And we have our idiom of the week. And what's our idiom of the week? Idiom of the week is couch potato. That That's, sounds funny. That's me on Sunday. <laughs> if you're a couch potato, you like to sit around and watch TV rather than move and get exercise. <laughs> That's yeah. being a couch potato. Yeah. That's the... 21st century couch That's potato, it. playing yeah. the tablet, doing all those things like on electronics. Video games, right? But yeah. sometimes it's important for us to get outside and go outside and play and run yeah. around, right? Yeah. Right, ladies? All right. That's so right. we don't want to be couch potatoes too much, but it's okay every now and again. Every now and then. Yeah. All right. Now it's time for the staff member of the week. So drum roll, please. Good drum roll. That was a good one. Our staff member of the week is Miss Wilson. Congratulations. All right. Yeah. Miss Wilson, we congratulate Miss Wilson for her hard work, positive attitude that she brings every day to our school. She does so much for our school community. She's a member of our PBIS team and she's on our Ohana committee. She helps mentor our new teachers and is always there when we need her. Miss Wilson is always chipping in when something needs to be done. And we're so grateful to have her as part of our WECEC community and family. 
If you see Miss Wilson around the building, please congratulate her on being the WECEC staff member of the week. All right, congratulations, Miss Wilson. Uh, what's next? Staff birthdays? I think so. All right, we haven't had a we haven't had some here. I know. Recently. Do we have any coming up? We have a bunch this week, actually. All right. All right. We so we have Miss um, Ricks down in the cafeteria. She cooks our food for us every day. Yeah. Happy birthday, Miss Ricks. We have Miss Benson in second grade. Shout out, Miss Benson. Yep. And uh, we have Miss Collins, who makes her way around to several classrooms. All right. Congratulations, Miss Collins. Yeah. We have Miss Whaley, also in second grade. There are a lot this week. Yeah. And Miss Khan as well. Man, that's a lot. All of them are turning 29. That, that's my crazy? prediction. That's my prediction. So many twins. Yeah. Yep. All, all right. of them turning 29 this year. Happy 29th birthday. Yes. All those ladies. <laughs> all time for joke of the week. Are you ready, Mr. Sears? I might need some help. Are you guys ready to help? <laughs> all right. See. So the joke of the week is. What is a scarecrow's favorite fruit? Fruit. Thought this would be a good fall joke. Let's see, what's it? Oh, I think I know what it is. Is it strawberry? It is strawberry. Because they're made of straw. They're stuffed with straw. Oh, see. Uh, that's good. That's good, Mr. Sears. Nice Strong work. Berries. I got Strong that. Work. Great. So we wanted to do a quick reminder on reading and book bling. We had the assembly. Make sure you're reading books, turning in those um, book uh, bling tickets to get charms, and that you're doing your home reading. So these slips are going home today in Monday folders. So make sure that you make sure that you're coloring each one of the um candy corns, candy corns mm -hmm. right every time that you read a book you're going to color the candy corn there's some extras on the back if you uh if you read some extras it's one for each day all right it says color one candy corn for each book you read you color those candy corns now you have to read the book you can't just color the candy corn mm -hmm. right you gotta read the book yeah or have your parents help you read but looking at a book, look at the pictures, try and read the words if you know them, and then you can color in a candy corn. You fill them all up, you turn it into your teacher at the end of the month, and you can get a prize. We also have a Texas Roadhouse certificate yes. for free kids meal yeah. and prizes. Love those prizes that you can win. Yeah. And so thank you to uh, Ms. Marquez yes. and Ms. Ms. Bradley, Bradley for yeah. doing the um, reading so and i excited I told, to have i that. talked to them and they said that there may be a possibility of some other certificates coming our way to other places it's not just texas road that's how it's exciting they're working on some stuff so it's important that we're reading to, because the only way to get better at reading is to Read. keep reading that's it yep. yep and another favorite of mine is bedtime stories yeah when, when i read my kids bed bedtime stories that's a good time to get some reading in right that's right that counts too so yeah. You're reading a book with mom or dad or mom, mom pop up, whoever at home. Yeah. Maybe your older brother, older sister can read to them too. Yeah. And you can get some home reading done. So right. I think that's all we have for today. I think right? that's it. Yeah. All right. We thank these ladies for joining us for the announcements. They did a wonderful job. We were happy to have them. Um, we look forward to a great week, first week of October. Exciting. We'll finish like we always do. Promise me you'll always remember. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Have a wonderful week, WECEC. -E Bye. Bye.